The demand control model proposed by Karasek represents the first proposal to define the risk inside work contexts. Karasek hypothesizes that psychological demands and decision latitude have different consequences on the worker's health. On one hand, Karasek describes psychological demand dimension as mental work, which is based on the number of demands, on the rhythm of work, and on the numerous obstacles that may have an influence on the work performance. On the other hand, Karasek describes control as the combination of two different components, the decision authority and the skilled discretion. The combination of the two gives birth to the demand control model that presents four different squares. The first one is about high strain jobs. The second one is about active jobs. The third one is about low strain jobs. And the last one is about passive jobs. Due to a lot of critics by several researchers, Karasek and his colleagues reformulated the model into the demand control support model. It operates with three main dimensions, job demands, job decision latitude, and job social support. According to the model, workers with job characterized by high demands, low decision latitude, and low social support have a higher risk of poor psychological well-being and cardiovascular diseases. The model has demonstrated that task enjoyment and organizational commitment are the results of job demands and resources. Furthermore, high demands increase the level of enjoyment and commitment in employees. The model has encouraged and generated many studies concerning the quality of work and job content. Also, the last model has been widely criticized mainly because of its oversimplicity and its predominance of self-report versus objective measurement. Besides all critics, the model still holds because it presupposes that the primary sources of occupational stress can be classified as either too high psychological demands or lack of decision latitude or lack of social support and not under numerous other job characteristics called stressors. Working in high strain jobs appears to be associated with lower general psychological well-being, lower job satisfaction, more burnout, and more job-related psychological distress. In contrast, working in a high demand, low control, low support job will experience the lowest well-being is supported in just one half of the studies. Finally, the demand control model provides a satisfactory prototype to face the challenges of demands, control, and support in the career environments. The model undertakes continuous developments, so it is almost unthinkable to reach a perfect reliability of its design.